Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I am going to explain to you why people like to stare at you. But as I'm talking in this video, you may want to subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer here. But if you're an OG, you already know I'm about to talk my ish in this video. So you don't want to miss out. So stay tuned at the very end of the very video, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, and like I said, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, man. Share the video, Charlie, because we finna get down today. Not today, today! Alright? But yeah, I'm not gonna waste no time. I'm not gonna talk much. I'm not gonna fat my gums. But I promise you, I will talk some ish in this video. So, like I said, stay tuned. But yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it. People are attracted to your light. This is why they stare at y'all. Let me break it down to you, Charlie. The reason people, excuse me, the reason why people like to stare at you is because it's something different about y'all. And people see it. Soon as you step a foot into a building, they see this guy. Or this girl. It's something different about them. And let me tell you something about a light. A light trap bugs, mosquitoes, and the last thing, the light attract idiots. Y'all cannot help, or should I say, we can't help that we attract people. That's very, very, very stupid. And I had to be extra blunt and brutally honest about that. But it's true. People like y'all attract idiots. This is why people are so obsessed with you. It's because that light you carry inside of you is your spirit. You attract the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the uglier. And you wonder why people be on your jock lately. You wonder why people be on your case so lately. It's not you, it's the light inside of you. But you can't help what God had put inside of you ever since you was a baby. Ever since you were put on God's green earth, you had that light inside of you. I wouldn't be surprised the nurses or the doctors saw it on you. I mean, not on you, but inside of you. Remember, it's inside of you. It's not on you like a pair of clothes, like a pair of fresh kicks on your shoes. I mean, excuse me, like a... Fresh prayer kicks on your foot. Kicks, shoes, whatever you want to call it. But you get my drift. But your light attracts so many people's a demons. Not a trap, but it disturbs that demons. But at the same time, it attracts them. They all know to love you or to like you. They all know to hate you or to love you. They can't make that mind up. These people are so confused. They don't know what to do. One day they hate you, then the next day they love you, then they turn around and hate you again. These people got bipolar problems. One day they hate you, the next day they love you. Then, the next day, they can't stand your freaking guts. Even when you open up your mouth and speak the truth, the light disturbs their demons, y'all, I'm telling you. But these people that's mad because you can walk into a place... You can walk inside a Target, Walmart, wherever you at. You can walk inside of a mall by your dog on self. And you can light that whole place up. You ain't got to have an army behind you. You ain't got to have about two or three or four or five homeboys with you. You ain't got to have about three or four or five homegirls with you. Y'all can walk into a place all by your dog on self. And light that SOB up. And this will make people very jealous. Because they wish they had what you had. Not the car you drive. Not the house you live in. Not the dog that you have. They want that spirit. They want that swagger. You understand? They want that swagger. You got that swag. It's like Soldier Boy said years ago. 
turn my swag on, but your swag been turned on since you were put on God's green earth. And it haven't been turned off since. Stay with me now. Stay with me. It's finna get juicy. It's finna get real good. But the reason why people like to lock their eyes on you because they in love with that light. You see, when people come into the building, it be like this. Pure darkness. But when you step into the mother sucker, light. Let there be light. The vampires that can't stand your light. The bugs, they attracted to the light, but they know. But the bugs and the mosquitoes so doggone stupid. As soon as they get into that light, the light can zap them. And y'all know what type of lights I'm talking about. The lights you put on your front porch, like in the summertime, that kill bugs. It's them blue lights. As soon as the bug come near that light, zap. They out of here. R.I.P. Rest in peace to the little bug. But your bug, I mean, not your bug. I say your bug. But not your arm um, light. Your light is quite different. This is a spiritual light I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Your spiritual light attract idiots. It attract idiots. It attract three or fours. Men and women. Not all, but some. So let's clarify that. Not all, but some. Y'all attract people that's bad and ugly. But like I said, that's not y'all fault. <laughs> that you attract people like this. You be minding your own business. And here comes somebody from the streets. All in your face. And sometimes it can get on your nerves. That you can tell when somebody is staring at you from a distance. And die gone, you right. As soon as you look up, somebody... Hey, up and turn around, you like, uh-huh, I caught you. People know what they doing, ladies and gentlemen. They not stupid. They not slow. They know what they doing. You get that feeling in your bones when somebody is watching you. As a matter of fact, when you're on social media, you can tell when somebody is watching you. But yet again... They claim they, they don't like you. They claim they can't stand your freaking guts. But they sit out watching everything that you post. This is why you need to be very, very careful. You got to be careful. Don't post where you live at. Don't post your location. If you're taking a trip, don't post nothing. Because social media ain't never a doggone fairy tale. It's not that doggone serious. It's a bunch of fairy tales. The only thing that's real, when you log out on social media and live in your real life, but some people get on social media and put on this front, trying to flex, trying to act like they this person, but behind the scenes they are depressed, they're struggling, and they ain't about that life. They get on social media and act like the biggest actor or the biggest actress that you've seen. But when you get on social media, you be yourself. And when you are outside of social media, you that same dog on G. Like Genuine. You the same OG. Shout out to Genuine, by the way. If y'all remember that song back in the late 90s. Same OG by Genuine. Y'all are the same OG. Y'all the same old chosen ones ever since you came out of your mama's womb. And they mad at the fact because they ain't like you. Like Kendrick Lamar said, they not like us. And that is a state fact right there. They are not like you. They not like us. Because you know why? What they carry inside of them is pure hatred, darkness. What you carry is a spirit of love and light. People don't like that. You see, if you were out here causing chaos, they'll love that. But you spread positivity to the world. You want to help other people. Uh, you, you can't be doing all that now. Ain't there much sunshine in the world. Ain't no sunshine while he gone. Ain't no sunshine while she's gone. Them type of people need some spiritual help. Anytime somebody get up out their bed with that, with that demonic spirit on their back. 
and they see somebody like you. I almost said preaching to the world. We all want to say Farrakhan preaching, but when you when you spread and positivity into the world, it makes people upset. I don't know why, but I believe ever since the coolies had came out back in 2020, these people haven't been the same. I mean, people been stupid, but ever since the coolies had came out, a.k.a. the corona, people haven't been the same. Have y'all noticed that? Everything start getting exposed. People start getting to their Bible more lately. Like, it don't got crazy out here. But y'all like, they expose that demons. I'm telling y'all, y'all making people feel some type of way right now. And guess what? That ain't your fault. When I say it ain't your fault, it ain't your fault. If people want to get on your level, they got to do the same things that you are doing. Stop going out here causing problems. Stop trying to cope with the pain by drinking, smoking, having one night stands every freaking night, trying to get off on somebody, trying to drain your juices because you stressed out. What the hell that going to do? Not a doggone thing. You still going to feel the same old way. It's like somebody can get so doggone drunk until the day they just feel numb. Somebody can get so doggone high until they can't feel the pain no more. But as soon as they come down, they're going to feel it again. People are literally messing themselves up by putting so much alcohol into their system. Putting so much smoke into their system. they literally unaliving themselves slowly. But they let it get you and they wish they had your life. Because you ain't got to put the smoke and the alcohol in your body. You ain't got to go out here open up your legs every freaking night. Y'all ain't got to do that. Y'all spirit is clean. When I say it's clean, it's cleaner than Mr. Clean's bald head. It's spotless clean. Y'all will make Mr. Clean jealous. Because your spirit is cleaner than him. And his ball crystal head. I understand where I'm coming from. But dirty people are attracted to clean things. Have you noticed that? If you don't, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Y'all spirit attract these type of folks. And this is why. You got to stay isolated away from these folks. What you do, but at the same time, they be coming for you. They be chasing after y'all. They so doggone physicated with you. They can't get enough of you. Like Michael Jackson, they can't stop until they get enough. Y'all like that drug that they can't get over. They can't get off. Y'all like is this type of drug to them. Every time they get a sniff of it, it's like nose candy. They can't stop sniffing it. Rest in peace to Rick James. He even said this. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Well, guess what? Your spiritual light, and I, it might not be a drug, but to them, it's a hell of a drug to them. People can't get enough of you. That's why they talk about you 24-7. That's why they go home and talk about you to other folks in their household. I'm like, dog. Even when you're not around these people, they're thinking about you. Talk about obsession. The obsession is real, ladies and gentlemen. It is so real. Do you wonder why people love to stare at you, martyring you? They can't get enough of y'all. Even when you are away from these people, when you miles away, your neighbor being brought up, well, guess what? You handling your business. But the question is, are they handling their business? I think not, because if they were, your name would not be in their mouth constantly. Your name must taste good or something. 
Not only your light is attractive, but your name, it tastes good. These people are in love with y'all. These people, they don't know when to shut up. They don't know when to stop staring at you. They're staring at your pictures online. I know the phrase, uh, take a picture. It may make it last longer, but this is ridiculous right here. Hell, and they had a doggone picture. Like an actual picture in the hand of you, they probably take that picture everywhere they go. Crazy, ain't it? They probably take it to, to the bathroom and take a shower. If they take a shower, that is. They had the picture right there beside them. You'll be surprised how crazy and loony these people are. Everywhere you go, people just stir at you. You got that touch. You, you got something. And they want it, but they can't have it. Because you know why? God gave it to you, not them, you. He gave it to you, not them. So next time you see people staring at you, take it as a compliment. Because some of you, when people stare at you, I know it can get annoying. You be one like, what the hell you looking at? Or some of you that got a hot head temper. <laughs> or some of you that used to have a hot head temper until you had to work on it. Some of you will be so quick enough to spaz that you be like, what the fuck you looking at? But don't do that. Please don't do that. Let them look. Let them stare. Let a ride down and take a picture. You don't give up. Or tell them to take a picture. It may make them rich. Or better yet, the picture is going to last long. They say a picture is a thousand words. Well, I'm here to tell you this. A picture will last for decades and decades. I don't care how many years pass by. A picture will last longer. Somebody could take a picture from the 80s. Or have a photo that would have been taken from the 80s or 70s or 90s or early 2000s. And fast forward to 2024. That picture is still right there. I'm telling y'all right now. People. They were a stare at y'all. People. They will sit there and martyr you. But it's your light. They make them feel like this. But like I said, the light attract idiots. It attract bugs, mosquitoes, and it attract idiots. And most of you, if you still got your baby pictures, the day that you were born, guess what? Them pictures, they still last longer because you know why? Like I said, a picture speak a thousand words. But in this case right here, when people stare at you, like I said, take it as a compliment. If they don't stare at other people like that, it means there's something about you that they like. But at the same time, they can't freaking stand it. But you're going to continue to shine your bright even more liar and brighter. So if they want to stare at you, they're about to put them Stevie Warner glasses on. They're about to put them Easy e Ray Charles glasses on because if they don't, your light is going to blind and it's going to melt the eyeballs out of their socket. That's how bright your light is. It's brighter than the sun in the sky right now. But people, they want to stare at you, let them stare. But don't pay these folks no mind. Ignore them. If they want to put their eyes what their hands can see, Buster Rhyme style, and they want to put their eyes on you, Hey, let them stare. But I will say this. And think about this. Every time somebody stare at you and you got paid, you'll love that. Oh, ho, ho. let me repeat that again. DJ, bring it back. Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. And every time somebody stare at you, whatever it's a good look or a bad look, you'll get paid for it. I bet y'all love that. But at the same time, it ain't about the money. It's about that light you carry inside of you. You understand me? That light. It got people. Want to be like you. Fellas. It got women. 
jumping on your jock. Why you think randomly you get women? Not all women, because real women don't do this. When you get these, she's for the streets. These three or fours constantly trying to get some of that energy off of you. Because you caught shawty from a distance staring at you. She want that energy. She see that light, fellas. Ladies, let me talk to my ladies. Why you think these critics out here trying to get some of that Tweety Bird? Because he see that light inside of you. It's that energy that you carry. That's why they are staring. Craig, Ray Ray, Quan Quan, Bruce Bruce, TJ, I name it all of them. Matt, <laughs> all of them. These Hoochie Mama 304s. Tamika, Shaniqua, Damika, Fernika, Nina, Tanika, you name it. They want y'all light. They want that spirit, but they can't have it. Because you know why? It belongs to you. Like I said, it belongs to you. The yellow you. Why owe you? You. So if people want to sit up here and give you that eye, don't even sweat it. Don't even trip. That smile and walk with confidence. That smile and walk with confidence. You know what you carry. But as for them, they don't know what they carry. They confuse with their life. But when they sit up here, they want to judge you and point the finger at you. But when they point the finger at you, three or five fingers will point right back at them with that stupid self. Like I said, I had to be brutally honest. And I told you I was going to talk my ish in this video. So there you have it. It don't get no more weirder than that. I can't get more brutally honest than that. I can't be, excuse me, I can't be peachy dirty all the time. Sometimes I got to come off with a little bit of aggression. Sometimes I got to come off being a little bit of rated R. But y'all like that though, because guess what? Rated R means rated real. And not only me, but you all. Y'all rated real in this thing. So you make it to the end of this very video. I highly appreciate each and every last one of you. Salute, much respect, and remember, we are on our way to 25K. As soon as we get to 25K, I'm going to shout each and every last one of you out. Now, I don't know everybody's names, but... I'm going to say everybody that been supporting me. But with that being said, y'all, y'all be safe out there. And like I said, if people want to stare at you, let them stare. But hear me out. If they want to keep on staring, tell them to put on Stevie Wonder glasses on. But with that being said, y'all, y'all be safe out there, man. Don't let these idiots out here get you upset. Let them stare all they want to. Tell them to take a picture. It may make her rich. And as a matter of fact, the picture going to last longer. But yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next video. God bless. Remember, be safe out there. And we out here.